Now I'm going to demonstrate a great body weight exercise. It's plank to push up. Okay, it's going to really work your core. It's a really nice finishing technique for your chest as well. Okay, let's get down in a plank position on your forearms. Your forearms are about a foot apart. And entry level would be your feet really wide apart. It's a little more challenging for your core to keep your feet closer together. So let's start right here, and we're going to do a push-up. We're going to bring the right hand up. I'm going to lean over to the left side, and then we're going to do a push-up. So right, right hand up, right forearm down, nice and slow. Now it's the left side. Left hand up, ah, left forearm down. And then we just alternate back and forth. Real important that you don't let those buns stick high in the air. Keep that body nice and straight like a plank. Keep those buns nice and low. Right hand up, ah, right forearm down, nice and slow. Left hand up, ah, left forearm down. Right hand up, the slower the better. <clears throat> As long as you keep those hips, buns down nice and low, you're really going to be able to feel it in the core. Ah. So there you go. Give me 15 to 20 of those. Rest a couple minutes in between sets and then see if you can knock out another 15 or 20. It's the, it's the plank, push up to plank. All right, here we go. Doc's going to demonstrate this one for us. It's a really nice finishing technique for chest. Left hand up, left, there you go, left, yep. Okay, right hand up, stay up nice and tall for a second. Right forearm down. Good job, now the left hand up. Stay up there for a second, tighten up that core, left forearm down. Good, Doc's doing a good job of keeping the body nice and straight, keeping the buns nice and low. Cinch up your internal weight belt during this one, pull that belly button up. Nice and high away from the waistband on your pants is a nice visual thought, mental thought, I mean. Attaboy, good. The tempo is really good, Doc. Nice and slow and controlled. Nice. Let's do five more, Doc. That's one. Left. There you go. Stay right there. All right, let's just send it right here. Stay there. All right, really squeeze the belly button up nice and high away from the waistband. Drive your chin down, chin down towards your knees. Try to activate the six pack rectus abdominis muscle by driving that chin down. Let's just stay here another 10 seconds. 10 and 9 and 8, 7 and pull that baby up. 6 and 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly set her down. Excellent. There you go. So we just finished off the, the plank push-up with a, a traditional uh, plank for 15, 20 seconds. Yeah, it seemed kind of easy. I don't know. Can you do that on an incline? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That might be a little, because I'm usually used to putting a push on an incline. Absolutely. You could put your feet up on a bench about this height here. You might want to find a, a little bit of a mat or a cushion, put your forearms on. Absolutely. This is a really nice way to make it more chest and more in, in challenging than just what Doc just did. And then when you're done, just bring your knee down. So that's a really good point, Doc. That's a nice way to innovate and make well, this more challenging. But you're, you, what you did at the end really pushed it because, you know, the put, tightening it up, then I, then I was starting to feel something. So Absolutely. So you always want to start with your entry level. If it doesn't feel like it's challenging enough, innovate and think of ways to make it more challenging like Doc just came up with, with putting the feet higher than the lower upper body. All right, go do it. Good job. Excellent.